Welcome to Learning Dart video course by Pact Publishing, authored by Horace Hermans. My name is Paul Bailey, and I will be the voiceover artist for this course. Horace Hermans is a senior software developer and open source developer in the Dart community. He is the web developer for the online directory website of Belgium. There, he has worked on a website to find a great business and make them available in Google. In his free time, he works on several Dart Lang package, like an XML reader, a web framework. All this has given him great knowledge about the Dart programming language, and now he would like to pass this knowledge to you. The Dart programming language is being developed by Google as an alternative for JavaScript. It was meant for the browser next to JavaScript. But Google changed plans with it. The Dart programming language is a great language to build large-scale web applications. In this course, I want you to learn the benefits of this language so that you can create awesome applications using one language in the browser and on the server. In this video course, we will learn together how to work with the Dart programming language and build great web applications. This course is divided into nine sections. In the course, you will find the right balance between theory and working with a practical application. The application that we will build together is a text-based game that will trigger your imagination. This is a multi-user dungeon-style game where the user will navigate with the help of an input box and reaches across different creatures that you can interact with. Let's take a look at the end result of the game. In the input box, you can type in left, right, up, down, and then the application will react upon these commands. This game will build up throughout the different sections in the course. In the beginning of the course, we will explain to you the tooling that you can use to build a Dart Lang program. We will use Stagehand to generate the basic structure of our program. In section 2, we will write and adapt our Dart Lang program. We will learn how to interact with our end user. Dart has a lot of benefits and productivity features in its language. In section 3 and 4, we will go over the characteristics of the Dart programming language and will show you how object-oriented programming works in Dart. We will also dive into more advanced features like factory constructor, mix-ins and many more. In section 5, we will test our code. We all love it when we see some green boxes and hate it when we see red boxes. This practice will help you make your code maintainable. Sometimes we need to build up a great infrastructure, storing data in a big data repository like MongoDB. In section 6, we will learn how to do that and how to write a REST API that returns you with the world information of our game. A browser has a lot of features and with Dart it is very easy to use them. So in section 7, we will dive into some of these, like saving a game into a file and uploading a game file so we can restore our game to a certain state. In section 8, we will take a look at Angular 2, a great web framework which is created by the same company where the Dart programming language comes from. Yes, indeed, it is also built from Google. We will look at the observatory and we will also navigate through some reference sites and tooling in section 9. At the end of the course, you will be able to create your own web game, application in the Google Dart programming language. It would be great if you have some minor experience with text editor and how to run command line tools. Google Dart is already being used by Google internally, of course. They use it in Google Fiber, and also the team of Google Ads uses it, to name a few. Other great companies that use Dart are Montage Book, to assemble your photo book online. Blossom, an online project management tool. Woven, 
an online collaboration and community tool. Soundtrap is a tool to make music online with the help of other people. Workiver is another great company that uses Google Dart in their application. These are just a few examples that are using Dart in their applications today. Learning Dart will give you the right tools and knowledge to build big web applications, like these companies I mentioned before, or like Gmail, Facebook, Foursquare, Slack. Maybe you will become the next Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg. But let me first help you achieve this by learning how to use Dart in creating large-scale applications. It's a lot of fun to program in Dart. So let's begin this journey together and I hope to see you there.